The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Religion says Mary. If you pray to Mary, let me tell you what the Bible says about praying to Mary. There is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Mary is not a man. She's a female. Nowhere in the pages of the King James Bible does it say to do anything through Mary. As a matter of fact, the last recorded words of Mary in the Bible says, Whatsoever my son saith, do it. Mary can save you as much as you grab concrete and dive into the ocean. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, not Mary, and thou shalt be saved. You've got to weigh religion to what the Bible says. The Bible and religion are not the same. As a matter of fact, when you take religion and compare it to what the Bible says, religion is found to be false. And the Bible to be true. Nowhere in the pages of the Bible is there a Pope. There is no hope in the Pope. Only Jesus saves. In a church where there are cardinals, and the Bible says that the birds represent the devils and the devil himself, I wouldn't have a religion with bird brains. And even the Catholic doctrine and the Catholic catechism cannot give you assurance of salvation, but the Bible says, these things have I written unto you that you might know you have eternal life and that eternal life is in Jesus Christ. Be forewarned, Paul tells us that there's another Jesus, another gospel, and another spirit. You better believe you have the biblical gospel, the biblical Jesus, and the biblical spirit. Because if you don't, you will die in your sins and go to hell in the name of religion. There is a place in hell for religion. Preacher, I go to church. Church does not save your soul. And there are people that go and have gone to church. And they're in hell. Because they went to church not believing on Jesus Christ. There are people who believe water baptism. And again, there are people in hell today that were baptized. And they were baptized without the faith and belief in Jesus. Allah will fall down before Jesus and proclaim Jesus is the Lord, for Allah is a fallen God renamed Lucifer.
Lucifer. Allah couldn't save you with a light preserver. Allah teaches you to shed blood. Jesus Christ, who is God, shed his blood. Religion kills, Jesus saves. If you do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you go about your life, you go live your life. In Muslim countries, if you do not believe on Allah, you're made a slave or you lose your head because you have not believed in Allah. I hold no sword in my hand but the word of God. You have a free will to believe on Jesus or you have a free will to reject Jesus. I am not going to torture you. I am not going to kill you. I'm not going to enslave you because you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. Allah will enslave you. Allah will torture you. Allah will take off your head if you don't believe in Allah. You know, people re who represent Allah will hate me and would kill me for what I'm saying about Allah. They get all upset because a newspaper prints a cartoon about Allah. People take the name of Jesus in vain and in cussing daily. And us Christians, we go about preaching the gospel. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures that only Jesus Christ will get you to heaven. And if there's any suffering and there's any torment, it is in hell by God. I don't put you in hell. I preach that you might get out of hell through Jesus Christ, but I don't send you there. You go there yourself by rejecting God. April 24th, 1987, I was a Polish Roman Catholic. St. Mary's. Catholic Church, New London, Connecticut. April 25th, 1987, I met Jesus Christ at 773 Broad Street at a coffee table. I knelt down before God and I asked Jesus to save my soul. I came out of the Catholic Church and I got saved and I met Jesus. I didn't eat Jesus, I didn't drink Jesus, I received Jesus by faith and by belief. On April 26, 1987, I began witnessing about Jesus. The difference between religion and Jesus is the empty tomb. Well, you say, preacher, you know, us Catholics, we got the end. No, you massacre Jesus every mass, every day. But the book of Hebrews say Jesus died once for all. You don't kill him every time you have a mass. That violates the scripture. The eating of blood, which you say is literal, by the hocus pocus, of the Harry Potter, of the priest, then the, that cook, that cookie, and that drink, that hocus pocus, it is the body and blood of Jesus when it is an abomination from Genesis to Revelation to eat and to drink blood. How can you be saved 
from a religion when God says it's an abomination. The Catholic Church can't save you, only Jesus saves. And there's a place in hell for the popes. You do know that Paul says to the Corinthian church, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, that there are men and women in the pulpit and they represent Satan. That's Catholic, that's Baptist, that's every religion. Satan loves religion because religion damns Jesus saves. Come out of religion and come to Jesus and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Jehovah Witnesses, Jesus is not God. Wow. Thomas said, my Lord, my God. Jehovah Witnesses, Jesus is not God. Thomas, my Lord, my God. You got a promise. You got a problem with the Jehovah Witness. Because what the Jehovah Witnesses say, conflict the Bible. And in the Bible, there's no conflict. Jesus said, I and the Father are one. The Jehovah Witnesses say, no, they're not. There's a problem with religion. There are lies and liars in religion. And in Jesus, Jesus said, I am the way the truth. In Jesus is the truth. In religion is lies. And the father of all lies is the devil, John 8, 44. The very foundation of your religion is the devil. And the very foundation of salvation is in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God approved and religion is man-made. There are ways that seemeth right unto man, but the ends thereof is death. In Jesus Christ there is no death but life. And that life is set in the finished work of Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You can make pilgrimages to the dead popes. You can go to the dead body of Allah and Muhammad. But when you come to the grave site of Jesus Christ, you find an empty tomb. You don't find an empty tomb with religion. You find a dead body. Dead works. And in religion is death. And in Jesus, there's life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. God's satisfaction is not religion. God's satisfaction is in Jesus Christ. And this message has been approved by God through the King James 1611 Bible. God is not my boss. God is my Savior. That's the difference. And you can run that to the White House. Nowhere in the Bible does it say God is boss. 
God is the almighty God, and Jesus Christ is the saver of men. And God is not willing that any should perish, but all will repent and come to Jesus to be saved. And with Jesus Christ, you go to heaven. Without Jesus Christ, you will go to hell.